the first prize that is responsible for accessing higher realms and dimensions in life and in destiny is the price of a deeper experience with God. The price of a deeper experience with God. Those who will keep making news for the kingdom are those who understand that it is the deeper and the richer your walk with God, the more the sound of your exploits in the spirit. Are we together? Physically speaking, the heavier an object, the more it will make noise when you throw it on the ground. Is that true? When you carry a strand of hair or a feather and you throw it, it will take so long to arrive the ground and you will almost not know that there is anything there. News is a product of deep relationship with the spirit. You want God to announce you to your world. It is not just looking for opportunities. You have to have a deeper walk with God. There are grasses and little shrubs that last for days, weeks, and at best a few months. You can pull them up because their roots are not deep. Sometimes their roots are even visible. Is that true? You can see them. And because their roots are not deep, you don't expect that they become giant trees. If you plant your maize, the ridge that you make for maize, sometimes it may not even be anything serious, just enough to cover it. Is that true? And then it grows because after three months, you are going to cut everything away. But there are trees, giant oak trees, and many trees that we have in Africa and around the world, some of those trees are 30 years old, 60 years old, hundreds of years old. And you find out that the root of those trees, without exaggeration, sometimes it can be so deep, deep enough to be the size of a house. And it sinks right to the ground. Are we together? Whether there is rain or no rain, it doesn't wait for any season. It has gone deep enough to touch where there is constant supply. The Bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water. Are we together now? Hmm. Whose leaves does not wither. And the reason is because it does not have to wait for seasons to change, to flourish. It has found its way to get a constant supply of water. Hallelujah. So the deeper your root spiritually in terms of your fellowship with God in terms of your prayer life in terms of your love for God your honor and your spiritual understanding your the, the, generally your love and your passion and your fire for God there is a guarantee from that experience that you will not plateau show me a man whose passion for God never goes down I show you a man whose relevance will remain show me a preacher show me a businessman show me a politician show me a career person who has that degree of respect for God I show you a man that no matter what storms come he will remain and he will increase somebody say more and more one more time prophesy say more and more Hallelujah. May you never get to any point in your life where you feel you have sought God enough. May you never get to a point in your life where you feel your prayer life is enough. May you never get to any point in your life where you feel your commitment and your passion for God is enough. Amen. Are we together? The only place you are permitted to say enough is in acquisitions of material things and then just the earthly study of things. He said, of reading many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness to the soul. He says, this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. But as far as seeking God is concerned, even in heaven, our pursuit still continues.